people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Burrell reporting for Conservative New Media. Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, JDV, and Paula Fillory on the phone right there. Wow, I love it. Ray Ray came through and he smashed the Jets and Rex Ryan and he was destroying people left and right. And the little weakie, Mark Sanchez, couldn't get his little throws down and the Jets offense crash and burn dude they should call it the new york hindenburg because the thing went down and exploded there was so much trash talking and blah, 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 by all the little lt and rex ryan and sanchez and all that type of stuff and ray ray said you better be quiet because i'm gonna freaking blow you up and he did and i'll tell you right now ray ray is a bad mother mm, dude and he proved it did you see that in the fourth quarter and the jets the, the little fans and, and the little ESPN idiots, oh, the little East Coast crew were so hoping for the Jets and the little storyline and everything they got. And they had to get it going here. And they had a little bit of momentum. And then that pass over the middle to number 81. And who's right there? Ray Lewis. Boom! He just like blew that guy up, dude. And they, didn't, they, and they were so scared. They were looking behind and they dropping everything because they didn't want to go over the middle because they were afraid for their lives, dude. Ray Lewis was the number one dog in the dog pound house that he loves to do. Paul, what's up with this? What kind of message did Baltimore send in the AFC East over there about who's number one. They're sick of these hard knocks. They're sick of Rex Ryan's trash talking. They're sick of all you New Yorkers who thought you had something and he shoved it right in your face. Paul, what's up? Yeah, the hard knock crew got knocked damn hard. Like you said, that 81 got laid out by Ray Lewis and on the very next play, the other guy caught the ball and just was scared he was going to get hit and the ball went right up in the air and Baltimore almost got the interception to seal it, but they sealed it on the next play anyways. Sanchez, you got lit up. Fat man Rex Ryan, you got sat down. Baltimore is in the house. You guys said that you were the Miami Heat. The Jets said that. Right now, you just got pumped. You got punk. And let's not forget about the absolute football stupidity of that receiver on the last play. You're right there. You're wide open. You catch the ball. You got a couple steps. Fall forward. Do anything. No, you step out clearly behind the line of the first down. That's the level of chumpery that these New York Jets display, and you're out of it. You're not ready for that championship level of the real big superpower that Ray Lewis brought. Yeah. We love Ray and Ray. Let me, let me just say this, too. Tom Brady said he was sick and he hated the New York Jets. You know what? New England's 1-0, Jets 0-1. Oh 0-1. And, oh and, and they're facing each other next week. We're going to see what you can do against New England Patriots. Randy Moss and Brady, the number one paid player in the NFL. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to hear it. I want to hear from everybody. And Boomer Siason and Craig Carton. I know you're my boys, but you're Jets fans, and now you got to eat it. I love it. All of you guys are done. New York City is destroyed. Comments below. Baltimore, The Wire, Ray Ray, they all win. Subscribe above. I am John. That is Paul. We are Conservative New Media. NFL is for men, not a bunch of baby talkers. And we saw it right here. You're watching Conservative New Media. I'll see you next time.